Sparkles feel like they're for children and loudmouth grandmothers. <laughs> Red lipstick or any lipstick looks horrible on me. I feel like my mouth is saying too much, even if I'm not talking, when I have one red lipstick. My relationship to lipsticks is I'll wear them here and there, but it's not something that I tend to do all the time because I feel like it's too much of an attention grabber. I kind of like controlling the attention I get. Like, I want to be able to say, oh, I'm okay with it, and then, okay, I don't want any more of this. Up until recently, I didn't even wear lipsticks, and when I do, I only wear, like, dark blues and, like, dark greens. So looking at reds is definitely definitely gonna push me out of my comfort zone. Wait, I'm picking this MAC because it's deep and I like deep. I like that red, anything between red and brown. So kind of the burgundy scale I think is great. I picked the ColourPop one just because it's not as red as the other ones. <laughs> so I want to just have a little step in first and try a little Kind of coral kind of color. I think I'm gonna go with the one that I think isn't gonna look good first. Oh, so dark. <laughs> oh, this is smooth. This is a smooth operator. It's feeling really rich, but there's like no pigmentation. It's yeah. like a lip gloss. And it's really gloppy. Honestly, it's not bad at all. You look <laughs> sexy as fuck. <laughs> this is what I go for. A nice little cute burgundy. I guess if I was gonna wear some type of on the go, it would have to be this color. I feel like if I hold the mirror really far away, I'm not that mad at it. But if I could like actually see my face, I'm horrified. I just think the pigment isn't there. I'm also, I think, realizing that I'm more of um, a matte lipstick person and not really into this like shiny gloss. I usually go for dark, so it would be nice to find something that's a little bit lighter but still fits with my complexion. I'm gonna try the ColourPop first because I think it's it's the cheaper out of the two. I'm going to try this CoverGirl matte lipstick in Crimson Cat. Um, I'm gonna try it because when I usually buy lipsticks, I buy rather expensive ones because I know I'm gonna wear the shit out of them. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I like it. It's not a color for me though. Yeah, I'm not mad at this one. I see it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I feel like this isn't bad at all. I feel like if you like lipsticks, yeah, it like looks good. in stick form, I feel like this is a really great contender. Oh yeah. Ooh. I can already tell. I'm gonna love this. That's beautiful. Oh, it's already intimidating for me. I know it's different <laughs> for you, but it's really good. Really? And it looks good with your blonde. This is my mom's dream come true. My mom loves red lipstick and she likes it nice and bright. Uh, I don't. And I don't hate it. Most of me being like, ah, it's just like me being not used to it. But I ease into it, maybe I'll like it. Growing up, I feel like I always heard things randomly where it would be like, oh, black women don't wear red lipstick. And I feel like this cat Von D kind of puts that to shame. Texture-wise, it's nice. Uh, it kind of has almost like a, a buttery, like a thick butter feeling. I don't like these sparkles. I really <laughs> don't. <laughs> so sexy. I'd be okay with the color. I, the sparkles are just killing me. Does it look good? Let's see. Oh my God, yes. Really? Yes. You look like you just stepped out of like the 1950s Hollywood glam. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is a nice red. I like that it's so pigmented. Mm -hmm. It looks just like one clean layer. I really like this. The two that I tried were two really good things for what they were, like in their own categories. Mm -hmm. Like this was a great lipstick, as in it was still super pigmented and it felt like really nice and satiny. I feel like with anything, always revisit. So if there's something that you're like, oh, I don't look good with lipstick, or oh, I can't do a cat eye, like revisit it because if someone else can rock it, you can definitely rock it. And I feel like in the era we live in now, there are so many shades of red. I think that the stigma that dark-skinned women or black women or whomever can't wear them is garbage. And I think it's just all about finding the thing that works for you, which is kind of the truth in life. Like not everything works for everyone, just find what works for you and that's all that matters. I've always wanted to try it 
I've just never done it because I thought I looked horrible, but now I feel a little more encouraged. So it, yeah, I think maybe I'll I'll start with like a lighter red, like not like super vibrant, but like a little faded red, and then maybe I'll like ease my way into it. But I think in the future definitely wanna see some lipsticks going on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ladylike is moving to our own new channel where you're going to find more of the great videos you love. Click here to subscribe!